these creatures was coming in, almost just like monks. I will not forget it because they came in formation. Hello, I'm Patricia Davis, practicing witch and psychic medium. I'm here to take you on a journey to the other side. Tonight, I'm going to show you how to get rid of the baddies. Monsters do exist in our daily existence. It could be the person who's annoying the you know out of you sitting next to you on the bus. To get rid of everyday baddies, funnel their negativity into a clay booby doll. Ooh, look at what I've made. My own little monster. His name is Charlie. Bye-bye. And the time has come, Charlie, to say goodbye. The moosh, that batty energy. Need to dispel monsters this holiday season? Stay tuned to find out which winter herb can kick the baddies out from under your tree. But first, I am so excited to welcome actor Misha Asharovish. Hi, Misha. My name is Patricia Davis. I'm a practicing witch and psychic medium. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Psychically magically. Any experiences, Misha? I'm a very spiritual person and it's okay. uh, like my spirituality and like meditating and all that's very important to me. When the universe is like speaking to me and life is going well, I feel my power. I always know when it's a full moon because it's like this bubbling up power energy like right in my chest. I am just a full moon freak. I howl at the moon. I dance under the moon. I say I'm a practicing witch. That's a very broad term. I don't sure do a giant circle and, and well, I do burn and light things, but I, I tend to do a lot of what I do on full moon. Do you do anything spiritually for yourself? Just like everybody else, I'm struggling with where the world is at right now. And okay. it's tough because there's joyous things happening. Like I'm, I'm in this movie and I love it so much. And I love my castmates. And it's also happening at a time when the world is really struggling. Our country, the, the state of the entire world is not, not it right now. I've really struggled over the past month or so to find power leading up to the full moon. I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna do my meditation, do all the things. But I'm gonna journal and I'm going to kind of really set some intentions. You piqued my curiosity, Nisha, with a movie. I'm curious, girl. Please share if you'd like. I will, I will. So I'm in this lovely, spooky, scary, funny movie called Freaky. It stars Vince Vaughn and Catherine Newton and myself and Celeste O'Connor. It's a body swap. I didn't get killed. Oh my God, why do I sound like that? I woke up in the killer's body. <laughs> you're gonna get scared shitless and you're gonna laugh shitless. <laughs> You're black! I'm gay! We are so dead! Oh, what can I do for you since you gave so much to me? Actually, I've never gotten my tarot cards read. I would love. Shuffle up good. Do you have a question for me? Will I find peace? That's kind of what I'm looking for right now. So I'm gonna pull. Oh, every picture tells a story. I'm getting a little billboard here. You're empathic, yet powerful. Does that make sense? Like some okay. people can be like a sponge and it's like, oh no, I've taken in too much energy. I just felt like you know how to remove that. The first card I pulled for you is the chariot. The chariot card is fast moving. Once you put your foot on your chariot, you're going fast forward in a very positive direction. Because your spirit craves like-minded people and you want to embrace that, you're gonna diss what you don't need and embrace in what's important. Because you're so empathic, you can tell a phony baloney a mile away. End the story on that. This card is the three of discs. This card urges you to maintain your momentum and pay attention to detail, but most importantly, it's about financial gain coming your way. You're working so hard and furiously on your passions and your projects. You're writing your own story, okay? <laughs> You're building a name. You have a look and a style. I will say I love fashion and being being a non-binary human, being a queer human, like it's very important to me to smash up gender and completely blow it apart. Literally, I know you can't say it, but like goosebumps, like because you're talking about things that I'm, you know, I am working hard on my own projects and I'm, and my voice as a actor, as a writer right now is very important to me. So to hear you say those things, I'm like, <laughs> it means a lot. And here we go, love, the happiness card. Finding that peace, that understanding. We need more of you in this world, okay? I'll take a little slice. I took a little piece at a full moon. So that's what I see for you. Thank you so much. No, thank you for giving me the goosies, sweetie.
My favorite way of freezing out the baddies is through a couple of very simple ingredients. Ice cube tray, slips of paper, a Sharpie magic marker to write down the baddies' names. The names have been changed to protect the innocent. Place them anywhere you like in the ice tray. Name up. Fill the tray. Pop them into the freezer for 24 hours. Take away that baddie energy. Hello, caller. Can you please tell me your name and where are you calling in from today? My name is Nina McKinney and I'm calling from Smyrna, Delaware. Welcome, Nina. Anything you'd like to share, like an occurrence, anything that's happened to you? One night I was sleeping. I went to reposition myself. As I turned toward the door, these creatures was coming in, almost just like monks, with the black hood things on. It was very long. I will not forget it because they came in formation. One in the front, and then they were more following in a triangle formation. I couldn't really make out the face, but the eyes was piercing red. The next day, we went to the bookstore. There was a book that said demons, and it said that these demons lurked Monroe County. We lived in Monroe County. And sure enough, on the cover of the book, I get chills when I talk about it, was those same exact things. The same way I described them to my husband was what we seen on the cover of the book. Tina, do you have any strong, like, psychic abilities? My mother says I was born with something like a veil, whatever that is. Oh. The veil, as we call it, is actually part of your mother's womb, but you were born with it over you like a shimmering veil, extremely rare. A sign that you are gifted with the psychic ability to navigate between worlds. Most importantly, you opened up a channel. Your own psychic ability has strengthened and increased. Sometimes I'm afraid, like when I dream something and I wake up, it's like, I'm like, oh my God, what happened today? I'm looking on the news. It's almost like I don't want to have a dream at night. Give me a dream that's bothered you. I had a dream that my husband and I was driving in the car. Suddenly the car started spinning around in circles. He caught onto the wheel and we started going straight. Lo and behold, that happened to us in real life. It's not a dream interpretation. That to me is a dream vision. You had a premonition. Oh wow. The dream comes to you for a reason. It warns you, you got a warning. That gives you your own strength. We're more powerful than whatever that is out there. But I'm gonna shuffle my cards. This is the card of dreams and visions. You may want to write them down, take out five key components of the dream. My husband, the steering wheel, the car, it's spun around. How does this make sense? Document them and then put it to the side. Reoccurring dreams too, if they keep happening, it'll keep happening until you figure it out, the dream, will go. I have to wrap it up, but I enjoyed you so much. Thank you so much for your insight. Now let's check in on them. Ooh. Suckers. Frozen in time. And remember, frozen baddies have no expiration date. Need to dispel monsters this holiday season? Well, balsam fir is the perfect herb to get rid of negative energy and keep your winter monster free. Good night, my little witches, and I will be seeing you next week for the dead. Don't knock. Hi, Jerry. Our house, rumor is it used to be a brothel. I feel like a presence, like very like Woo! sort of Western, I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing it with you.